hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to remove line breaks using the power query so let's get started in the previous video we considered how to remove line breaks using a filter xml function and other functions so i'm going to put a link of the previous video in the description box below so they can actually watch and see how to do that with the worksheet functions so let's see this scenario with the power query so the first i want to do is to get this our data that contains line breaks into the power query so to do that i'm going to come to the data tab of the ribbon and because i'm using better channel of m365 i have this new from sheet connector okay you can actually click on this or you can even right click from the cell and choose get data from sheet and that's going to prompt me to format my data as an excel table so we have this create table dialog box and my table has edit has been checked automatically so i click on ok and that will launch the power query having converted it into an excel table now we have the power query opened so let's get our data into a list so i'm going to create a list from all these queries so come to the add column now under the general we have the custom column so i click on that now i think i have about six columns so i'm going to just start with column one now come to the custom column formula in here we need the text dot split m function so i'm going to start by typing text dot split so i can actually check to make sure that i'm selecting the right thing so this is what i need text dot split so open parenthesis now okay i have two of these i'm going to delete one okay open parenthesis now the i need to provide a text that i can want to split okay so the text is going to be this date okay now comma for the separator which is the same as the delimiter so i'm going to factor in the line feed here now to factor in the line feed i'm going to open double quotes and i need a pound sign and I need open parenthesis and i'm going to type in lf which is the same thing as line feed so close the double quotes and i close the text plate m formula all things being equal no syntax error have been detected so i can go ahead and click on okay so we have a list which can actually check from here okay i'm just move this up now you can actually see the list for the first row and for the second row we have the list which is looking good now in order to speed up things i'm going to cheat by coming to my formula and i'm going to copy this so that i can reuse it again and again okay because that's one of the benefits of using power query so click on cancel or okay so click on custom you know column now again i want to come here i'm going to paste the same formula and just edit the section replace this date with the payment method and i click on okay so we have the payment method okay so let's speed up things and do the same thing for the brand so we'll click on custom column and it's going to be the third one Control V to paste, get rid of this date, and I'm going to replace that with a brand column. Click on OK, and this is looking good. Custom column again is going to be the fourth. Control V, get rid of this date. Okay, and I want um customer category, and I click on OK. So we have the fourth one okay one more custom column this is the fifth i believe Control v get rid of this date and i want the units click ok and finally custom column Control v to paste the formula get rid of this and i click on the price so click on ok absolutely cool so we have created our list okay and we can actually view the data in our list now what i need next is to use the and let me just call this one you know solution or whatever anything and now i'm going to use the rather table not text table dot 
from column okay that's what i need not text okay because we need to put the list into a table so open parentheses now okay let me just delete one of these open parentheses now the table dot from columns requires the list to create a table for the list of columns and specified values now what i'm going to do is just come here and grab now i need the call in brackets I'm going to factor in the call in bracket here then i'm going to click on this custom column one comma two comma three put in comma four then scroll down five and custom six so i close the column bracket and i close the table dot from columns m function so close the parentheses and no syntax error whatsoever so i click on ok now we have our data looking absolutely cool in the table now what i'm going to do is simple i'm going to just get rid of all these unwanted columns so i'm going to grab this let me scroll to the left and hold down my shift key i click on date to select all of them then right click and choose remove columns so we have these two this single column ready so i can actually click on this two upward pointed you know arrows and then we can actually use this column to expand so i need to select this use original column name as prefix so i click on ok absolutely magical so our data is fully ready so we just need to tidy things up let me get rid of all this null come to the home tab and i click on um, remove rows rows put a blank okay and that's looking good now let's rename this column it's going to be in a date this is um payment method if i'm not wrong This is brand customer category and this is the units and finally we have the price okay now i need to make sure that you know this unit and price they have proper data type so we just grab the two together and i want to right click and choose change type and i want a whole number okay so that's transformed and finally i'm going to click on this add column one more time custom column and i want a total so i'm going to grab the unit column multiplied by the price on the row context so i click on ok and we have the total so let's finally put in the data type click on that i want to use currency and finally we can actually load our data back to excel so come to the home tab click on close and load i want to close and load to and then we want to load to a table so i want a new sheet click on ok absolutely cool so we've been able to remove the line breaks using the power query now let's do something funny i'm going to copy this Let's just duplicate this control c and let's paste down here control v and let's come to our power query result so what i'm going to do is to just right click and refresh so I click on refresh and the table automatically grows absolutely cool so this is essentially how we use the power query to remove line breaks i hope you enjoyed this video if you do remember to hit the subscribe button you can share you can like and comment thank you and bye for now cheers